Costco plant haul from some plants I found at the warehouse today as well as some I ordered on Costco.com. They're definitely a great place to get some good value plants and get them in the ground this spring. So stay tuned and we're gonna go through each of the plants and the prices and information for them. This is a hybrid tea rose medallion. It says long pointed buds open into very large fragrant blooms of delicate apricot, large feathery foliage on a vigorous shrub. I definitely like my roses to smell very fragrant, so when that said fragrant, I thought that was perfect. And it actually is two bushes in here, so that'll be great to plant around the house. Two gardenias are frost hardy gardenias I actually got on Costco.com. They came shipped very well. They look very green and healthy. Just one or two yellow leaves, nothing bad at all. It's definitely the best shipment of live plants I've received. And I've purchased quite a few live plants over the years. The Frost Hardy Gardenia makes really pretty white flowers. I'll post a picture on the screen of the flowers since there's no flowers on the bushes yet, obviously. I'm not gonna be planting these in the ground until our last frost passes, just cause I don't want them to get super shocked. So I'm going to be taking them in and out from the porch um, on those cold nights because I'm sure we'll still have a few before our last frost here in zone seven. But I was very pleased with these and it was actually a really great value and they're very nice large pots. Let's see if you can see that a little better here. Ship from perfectplant.com, I believe it was. I'll leave a little screenshot if I can find one. But do you want more food? Hold on a second, my child wants more food. <laughs> He's definitely enjoying some yummy snacks today while I film this video. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the two gardenia plants are from perfectplants.com. Well, actually, they're from Costco.com shipped via perfectplants.com. If you go to Perfect Plants website, you see that they're actually a lot of a, they're a much higher price. And I did price comparison before I bought all these to make sure they were a good deal from Costco, because sometimes it is hit or miss. Just because it's from Costco doesn't necessarily mean it's cheaper, but in this case, everything was. And I'll try to find a price comparison for you of the Costco price, and I'll put that on the screen for each plant, versus what you can buy it from somewhere else for. So we have some peonies. These are four peonies in the bag. It says two Red Magic and two Sorbet. I thought the Sorbet ones really look pretty. I love the two-toned color and the deep vibrant kind of maroon color on that peony. And definitely stay tuned for future videos when we actually put all these in the ground. Next up, we have some dahlias. Now dahlias are only hardy through zone eight. So I will probably have to dig these tubers up every year. Um, the rest of the bags here, I'm pretty sure I could just leave in the ground. I've had success with some of these plants before, but this will be my first year growing dahlias. Um, this will be my first year growing dahlias. My sister-in-law grows dahlias and she had beautiful success last year and I was very jealous. Mary, if you're watching, I was jealous of your flowers last year so I wanted some of my own. So I got these dahlias um, from Costco today. I got, this bag has four Uncle B dinner plate dahlias and five white perfection dinner plate dahlias. I got some astilbe. This is in the pink color. It's six American in this bag. And this is an all shade perennial. So it will come back every year. 
The front of our house is north facing and it is full shade all day long. So I was really racking my brain about what exactly to plant up there. So these are gonna be going up there along with some of the other ones you're gonna see in a few minutes. Next up, we have some bleeding hearts. There are five bleeding hearts in this one bag. And these are pink with white. My mom always had bleeding hearts growing up. So this is definitely a childhood memory and I'm excited to have these in my own garden. We have 18 Lily of the Valley in this one bag. And these are perennial as well. Everything you see here is a perennial, so it will all come back. We have just two more bags left. We have five Christmas ferns. Patriot Hostas for our last bag here. I like the variation of the white with the green on these leaves. I think that's just beautiful and it's going to tie in really nicely with the rest of the garden. So just to give you kind of an overview of what I think we're going to do for growing this spring. I have kind of a general plan and I'll do another video on what our plan is for the landscaping around the house. But in the front, like I said, it is north facing. So it is complete shade all day long. Because of the way our porch angles, it doesn't get sun at all. And our front beds are definitely going to have pastas, the ferns, lily of the valley, bleeding heart, a stibble, still be still not sure how you pronounce that and um, some other plant shrubs that I'm gonna buy elsewhere from a local nursery stay tuned for future videos when we do landscaping around the front of the house it's definitely gonna be very satisfying to see it be go from a complete blank slate nothing whatsoever to a lush full and vibrant beautiful garden I am really excited for our last frost date to get here so I can go ahead and start putting things in the ground. I do have daffodils and a few um, hyacinth bulbs that are growing already and those flowers brighten up my day. We actually have some daffodils here that my son and I found in the front, one of our front fields the other day and it just makes it so cheery and I'm so ready for spring to get here. And there's definitely going to be a lot more videos coming of that landscaping and just turning our property into home. Oh, I forgot to mention. I also got some Fiskars uh, shears, pruning shears there, because there are a couple of branches around here that I've been wanting to clean up. Out of each of these cardboard bags there is additional plastic baggies with the actual tubers or bulbs or whatever type of plant it is and I went ahead and just cut open the plastic bag so that it would get air circulation and it wouldn't get hot or condensate in there I'm gonna be storing these in the basement until I'm ready to plant them it's supposed to snow tomorrow so I'm not gonna be planting them tomorrow um, some of them are frost uh, hardy and some of them aren't so it depends on your first frost date so make sure you look that up you can do that easily by just googling first frost date in your zip code we're in zone seven here so we still have a few more weeks until our last frost but some things like the lily of the valley I'm, i am going to go ahead and plant but just general rule of thumb keep that in mind it also says on the back information about it and a quick google search will get you any info you need that doesn't mean we can't start enjoying some of these plants already. This hydrangea here, I'm going to show you up close as I open it. I'm really excited about this. 
my son's favorite color is blue and my favorite color is blue. So this is like a deep blue, almost purple color here. Oh, it's so pretty. So we're just gonna cut it open. It just has this plastic sleeve around it to keep it safe. Now let me set you up here on some daffodils. I gotta show you these daffodils that you're being propped up on. Beautiful, right? Let's go to the front porch so you can see these in even better lighting. We're out on the front porch now and it's 69 degrees today, which is insane considering it's gonna snow tomorrow. But you guys, you gotta see this. Aren't these just beautiful? Look at those. Oh my goodness, guys. Ah. They're so pretty. Doesn't that just make you crave spring? Well, I'm gonna sit here on my front porch swing with my beautiful hydrangeas and my son's toy lizard that I just saw <laughs> and enjoy this beautiful evening. Once again, my name's Kara. This is Bluebird Homestead. Thanks so much for joining us. And let me know in the comments if you got any plants at Costco this year too, or if you're headed there after seeing some of the good sales that I found. And if you're excited to see the front here at Landscaped. Be sure to check back in on a future video when we plant some shrubs and perennials all around. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day, y'all. Mm -hmm.